Alright, now we're going to look at Northwest Tower, and this tower gets uh, only four supply per minute. The yacht goes from North North Camp to here to Garrison, and then it automatically just re respawns and goes. And it's just a long route, so that's why this tower gets terribly slow supply, which is not good. But this tower turns out that it's extremely important because uh, this tower you can trip Garrison from it. So it's important if you're in a populated server, you have scouts on both the North Towers. So you don't want your garrison wall being trev, that'll drain the supply and allow them to get in. Of course, this is where they trev from. It's a tough jump if you don't have swiftness. Goodness. Swiftness. Boom, son. Okay, I got too excited. You build the trev on the depot. This trev is backwards. Actually, I know why it's backwards. Normally it faces this way to, and you can trev the wall down from garrison. Of course, this is our own tower so there's no reason to be Trevin Garrison yet unless it flips. Um, now if we look at where the reason why it's facing this way is because if they build catapults over there we can counter trip those catapults. Now if we look at the walls there's a wall here there's a wall here. This wall rarely gets catapulted and that's because uh, they could have a Trevor mortar at Garrison that'll just take down your catapults over here. Um, if you were to catapult it I'd try to build them kind of over here and then have them face this way that'll be sneaky um, of course people almost never catapult that wall of course you better hope there's no siege up here there's, the siege is more likely to be on this side that's the side that's more commonly attacked now I'm standing above the gate this is the best arrow cart spot I would say that's because you can still hit the gate like this and uh, you can reach catapults over here now unfortunately for this tower because this is sloped up, they can place their catapults pretty far back and that'll help them go further to reach the wall. So if you want to see how far this can reach, about there. This is with uh, four arrow cart mastery on this account. Um, so if they place it any further back, you're not going to be able to reach on the arrow cart. And that's pretty much Northwest Tower. Of course, the supply depot is in a decent location. In fact, uh, here's where you would build the gate trip. Um, wow, that was not even turned correctly. In fact, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this tower upgrades terribly slow because it doesn't get much supply. But it's an important tower because you can trip gears. Anyways, that's Northwest Tower. All right, now we're gonna look at uh, Northeast Tower. This gets about three supply per minute. That's the slowest of any tower in the game. It's horrible. The act just goes like this and then just respawns and just keeps doing that. So this thing upgrades terribly slow. But it's still important, just like Northwest Tower. It's because you can trap garrison from Northwest Tower, or Northeast Tower, and Northwest Tower, of course. Of course, we got a gate trap in here. Um, let's look at the walls real quick. The supply depot is really far from the gate. That's going to mean the workers have to run a lot further to get to the wall to upgrade it. That's bad, but it's not going to matter because this tower gets supplied too slow anyway. Um, here's a wall, and you can catapult it from right over there. In fact, sometimes it's not too uncommon you build a catapult like as far over as here, then have it face this way, hitting this wall. Um, so unless there's like an arrow cart here, it's going to be tough to take out those catapults. Like an arrow cart here might, yeah, I'd probably reach it. So you'd have to check there for an arrow cart too. Here's another wall, and if you were catapulting this wall, you'd probably be like somewhere under the bridge. But it's not that safe unless you're for sure there's no arrow carts over here so it's a tough wall and you can also ram this and I'm going to show you a really really nice arrow cart spot up here um, and you can even build a ballista up here I'll show you how that works too so the arrow cart here can actually reach the gate and look at how hard it is to AOE there's no way to reach this with like any LE meteor shower and you can reach right in front of the gate there's also a ballista you can place. Let's see if this, yeah, this was placed well. So you can, if they drop rams, you can ballista the rams. So if you're them and you're trying to ram the gate and they have this ballista here, you have to build a counter ballista right over there and just take it out. And because you have your zerg on you, put them in front of your ballista and have them like jump up and down. That'll block the ballista shots. Well, not really block. They'll be taking the ballista shot instead of the ballista, even if they have the ballista targeted. Um, so if you're attacking this tower, it's very tough to take with the siege here. Um, 
and it's also a uh, garrison waypoint run right over, citadel waypoint run right over. Same thing for northwest tower. So for both of the north towers, it's extra important you don't reveal yourself, you don't make orange swords because they can see orange swords, they have enough time to waypoint and repel the attack. And anyways, that's uh, northeast tower. All right, we're at uh, Southwest Tower now, which gets nine supply per minute if the axe make it every time from a South-South camp and Southwest camp. Um, unfortunately, those yaks almost never make it if it's in your own borderland, particularly because there's the enemy spawn, and as the yaks go towards the tower, anyone spawning into the map for the enemy side can pretty easily kill them. So if I enter, I'm going to enter the tower now. Supply depot is close to the walls. That's good. Um, going up top. Let's look at where the walls are. There's one here. And this wall will actually be catapulted pretty commonly from up there. Um, the book catapults up, up there, they have a nice, very nice height advantage when they catapult, but they have to use almost max range. There's no way you're going to reach them with an arrow guard here. Um, now we're going to look at the ninja wall, which is. So this wall can be catapulted. Um, they can just have their people go underneath here, and then they'll just catapult it like here. There's almost it's very tough to reach it on an arrow cart. There's not a lot of good spots for it. But just in general, you don't really defend this tower much because it just upgrades too slowly. The axe don't make it enough, and it's um, it gives them a siege crusher right in their spawn or siege razor so that they can get more supply so people don't typically try to hold this or upgrade it at all just drain the supply after capturing and that's pretty much it if you want to know what's the best arrow cart spot there's really doesn't matter that much I would say you just put it towards the back you can put one here and arrow cart your own gate you can even put one over here either of these spots doesn't really matter it can be trebbed from southwest tower they just treb this way, and if they're smart, which let's see if these people are, they can you can treb two walls at once. So you can see this fortified wall is going down, and this fortified wall is going down too, but they're not going down at the same rate. So one of these trebbers is not aiming correctly. They should both be aiming right here. They can hit both walls at once. This will cost a lot of supply to repair because it's a fortified wall. All right, now we're going to take a look at Southeast Tower. Unfortunately, there's people trying to hold me up. I'm just going to get in the tower. It gets 9 supply per minute. If the Doliacs make it every time, of course, just like Southwest Tower, they almost never make it. So this thing upgrades terribly slow. In fact, you almost never try to hold it because it gives siege crusher to the other team. Now, if we look at the walls, there's a wall here. Pretty common that it'll be catapulted from here. Um, of course, you can build an arrow card up top here. But that's not really, I'll show you the best spot in a second. But before we get to that, I want to look at this wall as the second wall. And I'm going to get in stealth so these people don't kill me. But this wall can very comfortably be catapulted. And there's no way to reach the catapults that they build. So if you look at right where I am here, you just build a catapult like here. Hit right here to hit the wall. And there's no way for them to take it out. You just can't see the catapults from up top in the tower. I'm going to show you the best arrow cart spot. If I can get in the tower, there we go. And this is probably the best arrow cart spot for this tower. It's almost impossible to take out the arrow cart, and you can kill the rams on the gate. The only problem is if they do that catapult spot, you're, there's nothing you can do. So you'll build uh, an arrow cart up here, and then you'll you can reach the rams from down there. And there's no way they can take out the arrow cart because if we take a look at it, what it looks like on their screen, see this piece right here makes it just too tough. Like you can't reach it with any AOE skills unless you can build like a counter arrow cart and you have some camera hacks but it's very tough to take out an arrow cart up there so I built it there but just not an important tower overall there you guys go for Southeast Tower